one is coming to save you. No one is your Messiah. And most of your leaders are doing some things that a lot of people don't really want to speak about. I've been sitting down and I've been watching and analyzing these quote unquote black leaders in the West. And there seems to be, there seems to be a running theme. The running theme for a lot of the black leaders in the West, whether you believe it, whether you think it's conspiracy or not, is that they all end up for some reason touching children. Now, I don't know what it is, right? We can go as far back as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, I know a lot of people think Elijah Muhammad could do no wrong, but there were talks of Muhammad, sorry, of Elijah Muhammad having, as well as Muhammad, of Elijah Muhammad having extramarital affairs with underage girls. Why are they threatening your life? Well, uh, primarily because they're afraid that I will tell the real reason that they've been, that I'm out of the black Muslim loop, which I never told, I kept to myself. But the real, real reason is that Elijah Muhammad, the head of the movement, is the father of eight children by six different teenage girls. Six different teenage girls who were his private personal secretary. Right, even Malcolm X, to some degree, knew about them. Now, if your leader cannot put themselves in check, cannot check and balance themselves, what makes you think they can do that for you? You see, from Elijah Muhammad to Malachi Z. York. Now, Malachi Z. York was a man, the leader of a group called the New Warpians. And the New Warpians in America, back in the 2000s, 90s and the 2000s, were a huge group. I used to see them on street corners over here in the UK, right? They used to be like, okay, cool, we've got all of these books, we've got all of this knowledge. Our leader is Malachi Z. York and he knows all of these things. He's like a new prophet, right? And so what he done, Malachi Z. York, is that he built this compound in America and he had all of these black people go there and, you know, it was a great time and black people had some sense of direction to some degree. Now, Malachi Z. York is now in prison serving time for child molestation. Now, during that time, during that time, there was a man by the name of Brother Polite. Now, Brother Polite was a student of Malachi Z. York. He was also a New Warpian. And Brother Polite rose to fame same way that Malachi Z. York rose to fame. He rose to fame by having knowledge, he rose to fame by having good leadership. He used to speak multiple languages. He had multiple wives. He, his children spoke multiple languages. Black people in America specifically thought, wow, this guy's another leader. Oh my God, he's amazing. Come to realize that Brother Polite has now been charged and now has to do seven years in jail for child molestation. Now, I know what the conspiracy theorists are going to say. They're going to say that because there's a black leader and uh, this person is helping black people, that they are being quote unquote taken out by the man, right? Now, I will say this, that could be true. Could be true. From Elijah Muhammad to Malachi Z. York to Brother Polite, they could be being got by the man. However, why on earth as grown men are you around other people's children in a capacity where you can be accused of such things you see I, as a grown man i'm around children if i work with them because that's what i do right but i'm always with another member of staff right and if i'm not stuff is being recorded or the children that i'm around are my family i don't understand how as a man you put yourself in a position to be in and around people's children so you can be accused same thing they did to michael jackson when michael jackson was accused of child molestation people were saying oh they're coming after him could be true i don't know could be true but why in the hell are you building a compound where only children can come and having sleepovers sleepovers with children why are you putting yourself 
as a man in these positions, you have to be smarter. Now, Brother Polite is now serving seven years in jail for child molestation. Now, there seems to be a theme with a lot of black people. And this is just my own personal opinion. Black people, since coming into contact with the Abrahamic religions, whether they be uh, the Muslim uh, Arab or the European Christian, have this Messiah uh, prone complex. They seem to be very prone to this Messiah, this new black Messiah, whoever he may be, okay? Because the Messiah complex exists within these religions and a lot of black people have taken these types of religions on. Now, I'm not saying that there's no God, that's not, this is some, this is not some atheist rant. I'm saying the, the psychology of looking for a savior, seeking out a savior, has been to a lot of black people's detriment. You can see it in the way they hero worship their pastors and they hero worship these people within the quote unquote black community who have knowledge, who seem to be great leaders. Black people seem to have this messiah prone complex where they are looking for somebody just to lead them. And I'll tell you this, if you are weak enough to be consistently and constantly looking for a leader, people smarter than you will give you one. They will give you a leader because you need one because you want one, because you desire one. And there are people who are smarter than you and I, who are more sinister than you and I, who will give you a leader. It is a very old saying that a leader must rise from his people, not be given to people, okay? And once that leader gets that position, he must be watched to see what he does, okay? To see if he's been, quote unquote, influenced by outside powers. Brother Polite, I do not know you. I do not know him personally. I do not know his family. I do not know anything like that. But I do know this as a man. Putting yourself in a position where you are in and around other people's children who aren't your family is a, is a recipe for disaster. And now he is in. I don't know whether he done it or not. I don't know whether he done it or not. I always say, I don't know in any case because I wasn't there. I don't. He could have done it. He may not have done it. But if I wasn't there, I can't say that he done it. I can't say Michael Jackson done it. I can't say Prophet, um, Prophet, the um, Honorable Elijah Muhammad done it. I can't say Malachi Z. York done it. All I know is that these men were in positions where they could be accused of it. As a man, you have to be very smart in this life. You have to be very cautious in this life, in and around other people's children. And if you don't know that, then you got you, you've let things get to your head you're not you're, you're not thinking you're not firing on all cylinders you're not understanding the world in which you live and so now brother polite is in jail for seven years doing time now one thing that ver that, that really does interest me is that brother polite took a plea he took a plea for the seven years meaning he could have been serving more than seven years in prison he could have been, he, he, he may not have been able to be back on the streets if he went to court, if he went to trial and got found guilty, he may not have been able to be back on the streets. So he took a plea, which means he's got to serve seven years, I believe, and then 10 years probation. Now this says to me that something within the court system needs to be looked at because I'm... I would call myself an objective person. And objectively speaking, if so I've been accused of something, okay, if I've been accused of something and I know that it's not looking good, now I could be innocent and I could be guilty. If you give me an option that says you can serve, serve less time now, or if you go to trial and you are found guilty, you may not even see the light of day again. Most people are gonna take the plea. But that puts people in a very sinister position. Like people have said, he's being, he, he's being set up, could be, right? If they get a, a lot of evidence, quote unquote, on you, and they say, yo, bro, <laughs> 
It's either you go to trial and you might not even see the light of day again or you take seven years. Most people are gonna take seven years. The court system needs to be looked at because that can be abused very easily. That can be abused very quickly. And I'm sure in the past and in, in the future, it's going to be abused. However, this Messiah complex that a lot of black people seem to have is to our detriment in the West. I'm telling you, I have seen black people prop up their pastors, act like their pastors can't be doing anything, only come to realize their pastors are molesting children, right? Their pastors are taking all of their money. Their pastors are sleeping with the congregation. I've seen all of these quote unquote black leaders in the West be propped up, come to realize they're molesting children, come to realize they're scamming the people, come to, come to realize they're taking people's money. I'm just like, we have got to be in a very dire position as a people to allow ourselves to be constantly bamboozled by quote unquote black messiahs. Black messiahs that molest our children. Black messiahs that take our money. Black messiahs that constantly scam us. I've looked over all of these quote unquote black leaders and for some reason, you know, um, allegations of scamming are there allegations of taking advantage of women are there allegations of taking advantage of children are there and i'm like yep yeah, like are we gonna learn a lesson are we gonna realize that people are human beings first doesn't matter whether you put on a cult and say that you're muslim doesn't matter whether you put on a cult and say that you're a conscious community leader doesn't matter whether you put on a cult and you say that you are a a christian it doesn't matter people are human beings and this is what we've got to realize. Human beings do crazy stuff. It doesn't matter whether you say that you are of some kind of religion. To me, that doesn't mean a goddamn thing. I don't care if you're Muslim, Christian, conscious. Let me tell you something. I'm not putting all of my 100% faith in you. And one of the things that black people don't realize, this is why I said that this is a thing that goes back to the Abrahamic religions. When you look at ancient African cultures, Right, And even the cultures that exist today That we call the secret societies There is no quote unquote leader Yes there's a figurehead That we have to put out there But it's about A conglomerate of people That have come together to make something move forward Black people always looking for a leader A leader They're not looking for a conglomerate of people Oh no 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 The amount of brilliant black minds that exist within the black community all around the world, there should be one conglomerate. There should be a round table of them all sitting down saying, okay, what's the best for the black people in America? Okay, cool. What's the best for the black people in Australia? What's the best for the black people in uh, Brazil? What's the best for the black people in Africa? But everybody seems to think that there has to be this one leader that we all have to look to. No, the higher ups, the elites, who's their leader? You guys know even the president of the United States of America who looks like the figurehead has a conglomerate of people sitting in the back saying X, Y, and Z. Everyone knows that. When you go back to ancient African societies and you have a chief, the chief has a council and that council uh, advises the chief as to what to do. They advise a king as to what to do. There's not just one person. There's a conglomerate of people. And this is why black people keep, quote unquote, losing their leaders because they don't understand that it's not about having a quote unquote leader. It's about having a conglomerate of people. So once black people start to realize that, we will stop being bamboozled by these people who want to take advantage of our children, who want to take advantage of our money, and who want to take advantage of the women.